or so are there some some examples of things you could give us um, that people who have different abilities might have trouble accessing a typical website uh, you would find on the internet? Um, okay, so well, I guess some simple things would be, for example, um, I, the easiest thing I think to check is contrast. I think it's pretty easy. There's some really quick tools to check your color contrast and it makes a big difference because um, uh, things like, um, it, it can help people who have vision impairments, but also even people who are aging, who eyesight is going, but also just um, sometimes I've noticed low contrast is pretty common in situations where you might have text over a photo. Um, and a lot of times it's um, it used to be more of an issue with things like hero images or um, image sliders, right? So if you have um, just text and, and it's um, maybe you've created this theme that has a slider and then you pass it off to your client who is then going to be adding the content. You might not always be aware of what the contrast is going to be. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, compensating, finding ways to compensate for that, like putting in a black overlay that's transparent a little bit to darken the images if you're not sure what the image is going to be, for example, might be a way to help bring out the contrast in the text. Um, but also, but just making sure you're checking. Also, making sure that you're not using mi sort of midtones for backgrounds of text, because I, th I think that's also a common place, especially on buttons or places where you're just adding a little bit of um, a, a color highlight or something on your page. Try to make sure that contrast is still there, because it really makes a big difference for a lot of people. I think mm -hmm. um, another thing is. Um, yeah, definitely keyboard navigation is a big thing. Like it's easy to check. Just try navigating your site with your keyboard. Um, and it's a quick fix. And I actually think it will make your code cleaner and, and better. Um, making sure that your uh, structure of your page is well set up. Um, that will help, I believe, also helps SEO. Um, it helps Googlebot navigate your site if your structure is clean. So a few things to look up for are that your headings don't skip any levels. So you have an H1, and then below that you'll have H2, and below that you have H3, and you don't just use, for example, an H4 because you have some good styles right. connected mm -hmm. with the H4, and, and you're just going to throw it in to make your text look nice. You can just give it a class name, 